Hello everybody, Toasty Toad here and welcome back to another scary, creepy RPG game. This game is called You Will Not Remain and it is um, just a game I found on Steam. It's free and it looks really interesting. Um, this is, I just opened the game so feel free to read. You Will Not Remain Isolation contains dark themes and deals with mental health issues, limit to anxiety, depression, disassociation, and suicidal idea ideation ideation. Can't really pronounce that. So, if this game is uh, triggering at all, I don't really advise watching it. But if you want to watch it, I'm not stopping anyone. This is just y'all's warning before we get into it. Um, it's gonna have some dark themes. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Controls. Okay. Space to interact. Oh, F to full screen. Perfect. Very nice starting screen, so let's go ahead. You Will Not Remain is a short game intended on playing in one sitting. There is no saving. Okay. Oh, I should move my head into this corner probably. Hold on, give me one second. Alright, let's see if that's a good spot for my head to be. It's time to wake up. Again, how many more agains will you have? How long have you been here? Does it matter? I wonder if the sound's okay. I'm probably gonna have to turn it up a little. Just give me one second. Okay. I hope that's a little better. Um of keeping the mic over here so y'all be able to hear me over the music because I don't want the music to be too loud. Let's see. Alright, so that seems to be an acceptable level. Okay. That was really loud. Down just a little bit. The leaves are drooping. You should water it. You fill the watering can and take it to the plant. You soak the base, hoping it's both enough and not too much at the same time. You've never been good with plants, and sometimes trying too hard is what kills them. I'm not really good at plants either. Just a little bone on the floor. Alright, let's have our uh, morning coffee tea. You still have plenty of grounds and instant when you're desperate you have even gone through all the apartments on this floor oh my head's in the way of the text <sighs> see. oh shoot some of the games sticking out uh uh ignore it i'm gonna edit this uh maybe that'll be okay hopefully that'll be okay it's kind of hard to decide where you need to be in these games. If I just make it a little smaller. I was at 780. We'll, we'll just go down a little. Okay. We'll just make it a little smaller. Hopefully that'll... Hopefully that'll be okay! Alright. Making it as much... Making it as much ritual as it is comfort, you cradle the cup in your hands, warmth seeping into your fingertips. It grows cold as you stare at the sink, the ceiling, and the strange shapes your hands make around the porcelain. You pour it down the sink, wash the cup, before putting it away. Maybe tomorrow will be easier. I kind of doubt it. I mean, if creatures are taking over everything. I don't really think that's gonna make a difference, but, you know. 
this a window? Oh, hold on. I got it. I gotta get this as a screenshot. Give me one second. Boo, I'm back. Sorry, this is very well done. It is getting bigger, or was it always that size? If you were prone to poetry, you'd almost say it was beautiful in a fatalistic sort of way. But you're not. Haven't been for some time. You run out of pretty metaphors for awful things. There's not much else to do. You could walk circles around the apartment. Or you could go back to bed. Bark, bark! Is that a dog? Impossible. It's been weeks since you've been stuck here. You would have surely heard it before this. Bark, bark, bark! Ow! Let's let it in! You better go see what it is just in case. Come on, open the door. You know you can. Can't you? Bark, 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 bark! You can do this, come on. Like saying the words will help. Ow! Just do it! It's wrong. Everything's wrong. You don't belong here. You need to get back inside. It's only down the hall. You can do this. Nah, I'm totally following a dog in the apocalypse. Bark, bark! Save the dog. The only friend you'll have in the apocalypse. There's something wrong with this apartment. Bark, bark! Is that a dog? But it doesn't look like any dog you've seen before. It's thin, skin stretched tight across ribs, long body all bones and hard angles. Bark! Hey, it's okay. I'm not here to hurt you. Bark! That's right, everything's okay. Wine. That's a hand. Do you want to come with me? Wine. Is that a yes? I speak dog. I know that it's saying it wants to come home with me. Whoa! The dog jumps forwards before you can react. You brace yourself for pain and instead feel the drag of its tongue across your chin. It pants happily as it tries to lick every inch of your face. Ooh, down. It drops on all fours looking obediently up at you, tongue lolling out of a mouth bisected by wickedly sharp teeth. Well, it's this way, I guess. Come on, doggy. All right, let's go, doggy. You're glad to leave. Something is wrong here, a new kind of emptiness. No bed, no chairs, no life. How did the dog even get in here? When the two of you leave, it will be like nothing has ever been here at all. Dog follows you at your heels, no sniffing, furiously at the air. Bark! Just a little further. Come on. Oh my god, I got an eldritch being dog. Definitely in the apocalypse. I don't care how sad I am or depressed, I'm taking a fucking eldritch dog. The dog runs in ahead of you, tail wagging so hard it makes a loud thump when it slaps the wall. Glad to see you like it. Home sweet home, doggy. This is enough excitement for one day. It's time to go to sleep. Arf. Bed. Arf. I guess you're sleeping with me. Dogs sleep in the bed. Channel after channel of nothing. Let's go to bed. You peel back the covers and slide into the bed. The dog is warm, sprawling mass above you, content to be pushed around as you make yourself comfortable. When you've settled into the sheets, it lays its head across your neck, more metallic breath lulling you to sleep. Free eldritch being dog. You're dreaming again, okay? You remember being worried about her. You remembered waiting anxiously at the door. 
You remember how the apartment still smelt of her for weeks, the sweetness of her perfume lingering in the sheets. They don't smell like her anymore. I ain't going to that door right now. Let me see this is. Radio static. No. It's just... If you stay... No. You can't do this again. If you don't think about it, it's like it never happened. Stay inside. Please. No. one way to be woken up. You can't complain, though. Not when it saved you from... Bark, bark! Right. You have a dog now. A very strange-looking dog. Free Eldritch being dog! Free Eldritch dog! You watered the plant. Has it gotten bigger? It's not dead. Maybe that means something? Let's feed our eldritch being dog. You get it water, then fill a bowl with what's in the fridge. Patience, sausage, and double toasted bread. You hope it's good enough. When you set it down, the dog lunges desperately towards the food. Munch, munch. It's eating so fast you barely see it chew. Better not throw that up. Throws it up. You make coffee, just like every other morning. You cradle the cup in your hands, staring at the walls and the cage of your fingers around the cup until the liquid cools, just like every other morning. But this time, something is different. The dog is here, looking more at home than you've ever felt. The coffee is cold, but you drink it anyway. Better all the way down. Bark, bark. Are you hungry? Bark, bark. You're lucky we don't have any neighbors. Well, they're all probably dead, so... Not gonna lie, I drink my coffee black, and I like bitter coffee. I like very strong coffee. Um, I don't take any cream or anything. Don't know why. I just... That's how I've always drank it. Well, you fed the dog. You may as well feed yourself. You cook with whatever you can find. Thankful for the electric stove top. You eat from the pan, standing over the stove. No one's here to judge you. Bark! You've already fed the dog. What do they want? Bark, bark! Uh, you want to play a game? One! You want to leave? Bark! Okay, you're the boss. It's, it's easier to manage the terror that climbs up your spine when the dog is so happy to be outside. Where are we going? Bark! Hold your horses! My eldritch being dog. My eldritch dog also. Bark. Okay, eldritch dog. You've never been up here. Arf. Oh, that's... it's... You're worried if you stare too long, you might fall in. Bark. The dog stares at you, Im imploring, and for the moment its eyes flash violent. No. You're imagining things. It's just a dog. Throw the ball? Message received. Wow. You can almost ignore the lilac glow when you're playing fetch. Forget for a moment the vast otherworldly things stretching through the sky. The dog doesn't seem worried about it. Free Eldritch Dog! What time is it? Noon? Evening? Probably midday. At least no one, at least one of them. Maybe even all of them?
I think that's enough for one day. Wine. We can't. We can come back tomorrow. Bark. Sorry, my dog's not happy now. Chicken, stop barking. I get back. How do I get back in? Oh, someone's in a rush. Doggy dog. My little pet dog. Oh no, let me fix my camera. dog. Didn't take you long to figure out home. The dog looks proud of itself. Okay then. You're so tired. When was the last time your lungs had tasted fresh air? You can't remember. Bark. I'm sorry. I think that's all I have for today. Wine. I guess this is my life now. Crawl under the covers, you still haven't washed them. Not since the dog lays atop of you, heavier than expected, seeing as it's skin and bone. It cuddles into you. Knife long teeth and whisper from your throat. You can feel its heart beat through the blanket. The gentle expanding of its chest beneath your hand. Ah uh, yes, I'm dreaming again. You wish this was over. Okay, just the radio. Stay inside. If you don't let them in, they can't get inside. Silence. No sound. No thought. You type in her number. You type in her number into your phone. You know it all by heart. The sound of the buttons are familiar melody. Ring, ring. It rings out. You try again and again and again. Ring, ring. Nothing. Miles and miles of nothing. Maybe she's fine. You try to convince yourself. Don't let anyone in. That isn't already inside. She... She has to be inside. Maybe already downstairs? Just, just in time? Just in time. Is my dog gonna kill me? Oh my god. No, it's gotta be a real dog. Okay, I'm up. Bark. My dog wants to be up here. Here you go. Munch, munch. You're slowly getting used to living with the dog. How long has it been now? You can't remember. You should probably name them. Come here, chicken. Hold on, my dog wants to be in my chair. Come here. Everybody, say hi to Chicken Nugget. Now she's gonna sit behind me for the rest of this game. She likes to sit right behind me. She also has no sense of personal space, but... That's fine. All right. Well. What the? Hold on. It just did not full screen. That was weird. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. What are the plants? When you touch the soil, it's bone dry. It seems like it's always thirsty. A need so deep it couldn't 
be slacked by an ocean. You used to know something about need. Now you won't let yourself remember what it means to need anything, let alone want. All right. Coffee? First things first, coffee. You make it, hold the cup until the liquid cools. You look down at it. Born in your unfamiliar hands, you pour it down the sink. You win some, you lose some. Bark! All right. What's your name? You can't keep calling them dog, after all. Bark. That's very helpful. Um, how about Rex? Wine. Uh, marble? Wine. Marble sink? Wine! Gas stove? Wine. Mmm, shank. Bark? Lamb shank? Lamb shake. Really? Bark. All right, you're the boss. The newly named Lamb Shake looks absurdly pleased with himself. Sigh. Fine. All righty, Lamb Shank. Let's go. Bark. Dude, this is my bestest pal. My bestest pal, Lamb Shake. A bark? Yes, Lamb Shake. If the dog dies, I die. Nothing has changed. The sky is... It's there. Don't think about it. Hmm. It doesn't matter. I've got Lamb Shank. Good boy. How long has it been since you became stuck here? Someone could tell you it had been weeks, months, or years, and you'd believe them. It's not like you can see the sun anymore. Sometimes you forget what other people look like. The way their skin feels, how the muscles in their backs shift when you hold them. Just the thought of touching someone makes your skin crawl. You feel claustrophobic and desperate at the same time. Wrong. All right, that's enough. Time to go back. Bark. Yes, my little lamb shank. Bark. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Would you really, if you were by yourself, would you really want to survive like an apocalypse like this? That's my question for y'all. Let me know what y'all think about surviving alone in an eldritch apocalypse by yourself and maybe a dog. Would it be worth it to keep going? You should eat something. But maybe you shouldn't. You only ate five minutes ago, right? Or was it five days ago? You think I should eat lamb shake? Bark. Alright, good call. You cook a meal of whatever you can find and eat it over the stovetop. Ow! I'm coming. You and Lambshank are used to this dance by now. You settle in together and drift to sleep. Time to go outside. You do anything to wake up, but that isn't how this works. Zzz, don't look at the sky. The sky? What's wrong with the sky? What could have possibly happened to the sky? That's... it's... how? It hurts to look at. It's wrong, not made for this world, but somehow captivating all the same. But why? Maybe you're imagining things. You must be. This isn't real. This can't be real. A fever dream? Surely. If you go back inside, the world will return to normal. It has to. She'll come home, and everything will be this, the way it always was. Bzz. This 
This is your public service announcement. The voice in robotic, clinical, and detached while the world forever changes. Don't let anyone that comes from outside for the safety of yourself and others. We repeat, do not let anyone in from outside. No. Our homes are safe as long as we are in them. Do not let anyone in that returns from the outside. We repeat, people from the outside are displaying signs. Predictable. I mean, is this what I look like? Am I an eldritch being? Am I changed? Like, you take care of the plant. You don't feel like you're there when you water it. Your hands unfamiliar, your body unfamiliar, your mind alien even after all this time. You used to go to bed excited for your morning coffee. Now, it's just another thing you do. Lamb, lamb shake. You used to wonder when the power would turn off. You wonder, you don't wonder about much of anything anymore. Bark, bark. It's time to feed lamb shake. You fill up the food bowl. Munch, munch. Ow! Lampshake likes it on the balcony. You don't. Something about him shifts under the lilac sky, pushing to be free. He looks hungrier out here, more alien. Lampshake has decided it's time for fetch. Bark! Alright, buddy. Let's go. Bark! I mean, I understand, like, I mean, I understand how this person feels. Like, what would be the point in continuing if you're by yourself and you lost the person you cared about most? And then suddenly you have a dog, but would you stay alive to take care of the dog? Would it be worth it? Sometimes you think about going outside and being done with it all. Finished. We have lamb shake now. You won't walk down the stairs and pry the boarded doors open, fingernails catching on the wood and nails as you claw yourself out. No, you'll stay here. I mean, I guess if it was chicken nugget, I, I understand. Or however long that is, time to go lamb shake. Bark. If anything happens to this dog, I'm going to be extremely upset. Back inside, pal. Time for bed? Yep. Huh? That's weird. You can hear something. Zzz, hello? What? Zzz, is anyone there? No, you're imagining things. It's not... Imp it's not possible. It can't be... Wine. Hey, it's okay. I'm okay. Are you? Lamshank's eyes are wide, body trembling above yours, scared. You've never seen him like this before. Did that radio frighten him? Everything feels so fuzzy. You pet Lamshake, running fingers down his spine, and each vertebrae sharp against them. You're so tired. What should you do? This is your public service announcement. The people from outside are marked. They can only get in if you let them in. We cannot stress this enough. Do not let her in. She will hurt you. Wait, what? 
please let me in. She's here. She's safe. She's... Do not let them in. They will hurt you. You have to let me in. Bzz, we repeat, they will hurt you. You're at the door, unable to open it. Heart beating so hard you can taste blood in the back of your throat. You want to let her in. You do. But nothing feels real. Everything feels real. You try to move to open the door, but your body isn't responding. It's like watching someone else. Like you're no longer there. Like you're watching yourself like someone else would watch you. Please, I'm so scared. So are you. White noise. White? You don't think you could let her in if you do- if you wanted to. Bzz, not safe. The screaming starts. You are brittle, and this is what breaks you. I'm up, Lambshank. I'm up. Is anything real? Yes! Your dog is real! Is anything real? Your dog's real. Take care of your dog. Be a good person. Is anything real? You water the plant just in case. It is real. As long as you take care of your dog. Is anything real? Let me guess. Is the TV real? Bark, bark. Real or not, you need to feed Lamb Shank. Exactly. You fill up the food bowl. Munch, munch. Alright, let's go side, my little buddy. Howl! Is anything real? Bark! Live for your little doggy. Teach him to do taxes. I mean, on the bright side, you have a dog. Bark. Let's go, little buddy. Bark! Okay. If this is real, does it mean anything? Yes! Your dog is happy. That's all you need to worry about. And what's worse, that this isn't real. Or that it is and means nothing at all. It means everything to Lamb Shank. You can't even remember what she looked like. How she smelt. Can't recall how she fit within these spaces. God, this is sad. Time to go, Lamb Shank. Bark! Poor little doggy. Poor little person. I should eat. Not a chance. Okay, guess we've decided against it. Come on, little buddy. You pull back the covers and get into bed. You're already half asleep. Bzzz. Attention, citizens. Wine. I don't think Lamb Shake likes this. Attention, citizens. The city has fallen. Wine. That's enough, Lamb Shake. In the coming months, we will be evacuating any remaining survivors. Lamb Shake, we might be able to leave. Wine. Make sure to keep your radio on to receive pickup coordinates. Animals have been. Lamb Shank, what's wrong? Lamb Shank looks nervously around the room, flinches at the sound of the radio. We will tell you when it's safe to leave. No! It's okay, let's go to bed. Everything is going to be okay. Come on, Lamb Shank, let's go to bed. You get under the covers. For the first time, Lamb Shank doesn't join you. What's wrong? Anything?
anything but this. You can't open it. You turn back against the door, then you slide down until you, on, until you're a pile on the floor. Repeat, do not let anything in. The screaming continues, on and on, sob, sob, sob. God, this knocking is so loud. Time passes in stops and starts, the radio cracking in and out of life, her scream softening, please, getting weaker on the days that stretch. Two weeks later, the radio goes quiet. So does she. Are you alone? White noise. Nothing but the ringing in your head. Somehow, the silence is worse than the screaming. You wake slowly. You're, loose to, you, you're used to Lamb Shake acting as an alarm, all wagging tail and doggy kisses. He's across the room, staring out at the balcony, the door to the sky above. Your dreams always return to her. Though each time the memory is fuzzier, worn by time. Was she even marked? You'll never know. You water the plant. Something burns in your chest, but you choke it down. Without you, the plant would die. You fill the bowl, but Lampshake doesn't come running. Lampshake, food time! He ignores you. Come on, you need to eat. We're leaving today. Wine. Bzz. Remember, citizens, we have cleared the way. I'm gonna die. No, you can't. Your stomach keeps turning over and over like something is trying to escape alive. You leave it. The cup strangely lonely when you filled to the brim. The pickup zone is, it's time to go. Fine. No, we're gonna go outside with our dog. You'll never see this place again. Is that a good thing? What does leaving this place mean? What does the world look like outside these walls, outside the city? Oh, my dog is sad! Do you still belong out there? With people and their soft skin, soft hands, soft hearts? Will they now be as foreign to you as the sky? Oh, lamb shake! There it is, the door. Wine, wine, wine! Come on, lamb shake. No, we need to go back. I don't, I don't think this is good. Can I go outside still? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna die, aren't I? This is not good. I'm definitely gonna die. Alright, I'm sorry. Come on, Lamb Shank. There was a time where you slowly, one by one, people left. There were no boards. Then, just a closed door with the world outside, growing further and further away. You didn't see them often. The few that remained with you, but you could hear them. Human sounds that hummed in the background when you least expected. You pulled down one of the boards. Wine. Hush, Lamb Shank. The noise had been comforting. You weren't alone, but they didn't last forever, and over time faded into nothing. They must have left, taking their chances in the city falling around them. Anything better than staying here, being inside, trapped like a rat in a cage. Every day played out again and again until you pulled down a second board. Wine. Bark! Lamb Shank, that's enough! You've never yelled at Lambshake before. 
Shane blooms deep in the pit of your stomach. But you can't look at him. Know that if you see the fear and desperation in his eyes, you'll never leave. You pull down the final board. A beginning and an end, you think. You've been the one to put them here. A reminder to never leave as the city siren song promise an escape. You lay your hands on the door, palms sweaty against the cool glass. Lamshank, you ready? Whimper. He's trembling uncontrollably, eyes darting around the room so fast that they are rolling into the back of his head. You pull a key from your pocket, fit it to the lock, turn the handle. Bark, bark! Lamshank lashes forward, closing his mouth on your sleeve with a vicious yank and pulls you backwards away from the door. Lamshank. Bark, bark. Lamshank, what's going on? Every part of Lamshank looks like it's ready to fight. Lips peel back from the gleaming teeth as saliva drips from the maw, gaping possibly open wide enough to swallow someone whole. Bark, bark, bark. Lamshank, bark. Knock, knock. No. Knock, 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 knock. It can't. Inside. You're inside again. Bark! What happened? Lambshake runs to his abandoned food. The leftovers of leftovers that you'd serve still there, silent. Did it get you too? Did everyone else hear the radio? Follow its lure to the door? Bark. Munch, munch. Lambshake happily devours the food. Ghostly tongue scraping the dredge from the bottom of the food bowl. Thank you, Lambshake. Yep! He jumps on the spot, proudly to have protected you. Really? I mean it. Ow! Bark, bark! Hold your horses! Can you just go back to this in-between life of fetch and half-consumed coffee? Is it really that easy? Nothing tonight. Or maybe tomorrow. And maybe a week from now. You'll throw the radio from the rooftop. Lambshick was right to be afraid. Nothing. You're not sure what you expected. Alright. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's go play fetch. Bark. Don't trust the radio. Bark. Bark. You've gotten used to the violet light beating down from above. The creatures seem satisfied. Is such a thing possible? My eldritch being dog saved my life. It's not roiling in the clouds, instead breathing slowly around the tips of skyscrapers. The longest, softest breath you've ever felt vibrate through your bones. I feel like it's getting more purple. I don't know if I've noticed that correctly. Is this it? Is this everything? Is this where you must remain? Bark! You will not remain. And here's the credits. Pay attention, because these people did an extremely amazing job. Roll the credits. Now watch. This game, I'm gonna mispronounce this so y'all can read it because I'm not gonna absolutely butcher this. Um, but read it and thank everybody who made this game because this was an amazing game. Oh, did it just restart? Okay. 
So I just want to say this was a really good short game and it really makes you think. Um, I, I know it's just, you know, like an 8-bit game, but would you, would you stay alive if there was an apocalypse and you were by yourself? If all you had to take care of was a dog and a plant and you lost the person closest to you, to you would you continue on? That's all I gotta say is that was very well made and I liked the way it looked and the story was very good and it really makes you think. So, um, if y'all wanna play it for yourselves, it's on Steam and it's free so y'all can go check it out. Um, you know, you'll have the name so you can just go look it up. But, I just wanna say if you like this game or any of the other RPG or scary games that I play, you can like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button, or even suggest some other games like this to play in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and take it easy. Till the next time.